everyone. We are trying to go to a game at Oak Hill's Pub. I got up decently early this morning and just organized everything in the room. So I'm excited to show you all of that um, once we have the bed made. And we have our Palo brunch and dinner. So we're gonna be all Paloed out today. So I can't wait to show you guys everything. Happy first full day on the cruise. Okay. Um, oh, she's uh, she's in Parks and Recreation. She was in Saturday Night Live. And Polo is correct, yes. Uh, the producers, Blazing Saddles, Mel Brooks. Uh, she's a French Canadian singer. Yes. Football player. Hey, it's certainly, it's like the wind. Drew Brees? Yes, Drew Brees is correct. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, uh, this guy, the father of the bride. Steve Steve Martin. Yes. Uh, he plays Snape in uh, Harry Potter. He was in Die Hard as well. Alan Rickman is correct, yes. Um, oh, she was in, in Enchanted? Maybe Alan. Yes. <laughs> so we just played the game Who Am I in O'Gill's Pub. Phil, so so I think you grew. Oh, well. He was saying earlier that he grew. I feel really short right now. So as Pauline was saying, we just finished Who Am I, a trivia game at O'Gill's Pub. Uh, we wandered in late. We were on team two. Uh, we lost 58-54. Um, Phil got Jane Goodall though, which I would never have pegged him to get. And I got Drew Brees, <laughs> which Phil would have never pegged me to get. Weird things happen every day. <laughs> but now we're gonna go get some beverages because Pauline's bottoming out and uh, we'll talk to you guys later. All right. Stops back at the room real quick to get our drink puff. So we're going real quick to midship to fill up some of our drink cups uh, at the pool drink station. We have our refillable mugs that we had in the parks and then the water bottle that I brought. Phil's got a water bottle and a refillable mug too. So we're gonna fill up the water bottles, put them in the fridge, because we don't have any like water or anything like that in the rooms. They were trying to sell us a case yesterday for $45. I can buy it at Wegmans for two. So <laughs> we'll just make sure our mugs and our water bottles are nice and full so that we don't go without beverages during the day. Someone just said go paths to fill. That never happens at home. This is my favorite art for sure. All right, here's our drink stations. Phil and I are on our way to our Palo brunch. Yay. We got it. When we got on the ship, we went down the stairs and they had an extra reservation. So here we are. Going up to our Palo reservation. Phil, you look so good! We're excited to check this brunch out. Phil got new sunglasses. They're Versace. Phil, look at our beautiful table. This is our table view right here. You can see varieties of key today. The way yeah. we've done the little petite sizes, trying to get a bit of each. My favorite is actually this one here, the baked yogurt. Really okay. Lovely. Yeah. Uh, you got the tiramisu, really telling so many pick me up. <laughs> So I pretty much got every single bread. No big deal. Carb loading. All right, next up, got some seafood. This is caviar on a toast. Over here is some ahi tuna. And this is like a Bloody Mary shrimp, a salmon roll, scallop, 
<laughs> and some marinated shrimp, salmon mousse, and last but not least, a delicious crab leg. I got my always favorite unsweetened iced tea, and it came with iced tea ice cubes. Very nice. On to the antipasto bar. Got some mushrooms, asparagus with prosciutto, and it looks like hollandaise. Some blue cheese, some salami, some tomato mozzarella. This looks like an arugula tomato. I believe this is hummus. Sort of like a grilled vegetables. We have an arancini back here. And then prosciutto with melon. So this is uh, two part flatbread. This side, closest to the camera, is spicy Italian sausage, cheese and tomato sauce. And then this is a goat cheese with goat cheese base and sun dried tomatoes. It looks delicious. I imagine it being long, not round like a pizza, oh. but it looks good. We are in Italy. <laughs> bon appetito. So what did you get? This is pureed celery soup with focaccia croutons and spicy Italian sausage. I would never imagine you'd get this. We're trying something new. I really wanted the Eggs Benedict and it has smoked salmon on it. This is the snapper that Phil and I are gonna share. Phil, oh, what did you get? The eggplant rollatini. Delicious. Then we got the chicken parmesan. Yummy. For dessert, I got this pistachio cake. I'm honestly not sure what this is, but he said it was delicious. Also, we think this one is a cheesecake. Not particularly sure. This one is champagne jello and berries. Then way in the back there, chocolate covered strawberry. the room and we have some people training with our pin board. We just finished up with brunch at Palo. I'm gonna do a review a little bit later because we changed real quick. Well, I changed my shoes. <laughs> and just me, uh, I'll take a little siesta, but I came over to the Yopra district uh, where they are gonna do Disney Tune trivia. So I got here in about five minutes before it started and there were no more seats left in La Piazza. So I got a little table here right outside and the speakers are, are going so I'll be able to hear all the songs. But I'm the only one on my team so hopefully I'll be able to compete with everyone else. We'll see. And my team name is Mermaid Life. Oh, we were so close to winning. The top score I believe was 27 and we got 25. I played with a new friend. Uh, there was an empty seat and I asked her to come over and we joined up and became a team. So now the Facebook group I was a part of has a little pin meetup so I'm going to try to go up there and see if I can trade some pins. Just walking up to refill my drink and look who is here. Tiana. She's so pretty. Love it. Up on deck 11, it is pretty crowded up here. I'm gonna refill my drink and then check out what the adult section looks like. 
just filled my drink up and then went to Senses Spa to check out what options they had. I thought about getting the unlimited pass to the rainforest room, but I think I'm just gonna do a couple day passes. I'm gonna go back to the room also and see what Phil thinks about a couple's massage and hopefully get that booked. If there were a fight between Chip and Dale, who would win? I feel like Chip's a little more feisty. I had to show you guys this. I actually designed this logo for our trip. So it's exciting to keep seeing it all around the ship. Obviously I didn't design the actual like cruise logo, but the palm trees and everything for this specific cruise and like the name and all that stuff, I did. Here's a little bit bigger version of it. Love the sunset. Oh yay, and my laundry, it got stained in transport, but it is here on the door for me. All right, so I'm out here on our veranda. It is super sunny out. I'm gonna enjoy some rays and look through the personal navigator to plan out the rest of the trip. Mostly because I want to see when we can fit in this spa treatment. don't want to get too far into the day without giving a review of our Palo brunch. Phil, what did you think of it? It was awesome. It was really good. I would say for me, what I liked most was kind of the station areas as opposed to the plated options. Yeah, the plated food wasn't that great. I, I would, so we'll start with the plated food. Phil got his soup, celery soup, which I thought was adventurous to begin with. Um, it, and it wasn't bad, but it wasn't something I'd want to go get again. It was yeah. nice to try. So, celery puree with uh, spicy Italian sausage and focaccia croutons. Um, it was good. It was good. Yeah. And then I got a smoked salmon benedict, which I thought was wonderful. I already was getting high hopes for it because I had the smoked salmon that was on the buffet options and it was nice thick cuts of smoked salmon very tasty and it was the same smoked salmon on the eggs benedict so I thought that was wonderful and I'm so glad I got that then we got the the flatbread yeah so we did a flatbread half and half mm -hmm. half of it was uh, spicy sausage and uh, mozzarella the other was the goat cheese and roasted tomato. Uh, no, sun dried. Uh, sun dried tomatoes. Sun dried tomatoes. Yeah, and I would say for me, I wouldn't call them flatbreads. They would be it was wood little, uh, wood it was roasted pizza. pizzas. Yeah, it was a little wood fired pizza. Yeah, it was. It was. They were good though. I yeah, liked them. Great, great flavor for both of them. Um, I wish I could say more about it, um, but unfortunately, and this is kind of unfair. I really took advantage of the uh, buffet and I was feeling pretty uh, satiated at that point so it was kind of an afterthought that we just really kind of picked at but it was very good yeah the goat cheese was wonderful on it too um, and had a nice char on the crust Phil doesn't eat the crust but I thought the crust was wonderful so then um, we got the snapper at Cher not good. I would not recommend it. <laughs> Fish was cooked perfectly. It was. The accoutrements were cooked perfectly, but, and this was not articulated well through the menu. I will always take responsibility when I do something stupid or when I misread something. This is genuinely, for one of the first times in the trip, not that case. Everything was soaked in an olive brine, not olive oil, yes. which, is, which is subtle, and smooth it was soaked and crusted in an olive brine so you get that super salty olivey taste which 
for you know the dish is a northern italian dish and that's a traditional preparation and i understand southern italian comfort food versus lighter northern italian kind of more mediterranean preparation fine they need to tell you that um because we wasted a beautifully prepared perfectly cooked yes. chunk of fish that on its own would have been absolutely delicious agreed um but they ruined it with um an overuse of salt and brine but if you like olives uh, a lot <laughs> If you love olives, this is the dish that yes. you've been waiting for your entire life. It's it's good if you like olives, but not not for us. Um, and then Phil got the eggplant. I got the eggplant roll teeny. Yes. Um, it was really really good. So basically, it was um, very thinly sliced, flash fried pieces of basically eggplant parmesan with prosciutto and uh, regat cheese rolled up and then fried again with red sauce uh their red sauce is super acidic um i don't know if they're using the traditional san marzano uh tomatoes not olive san marzano tomatoes that most italian places use for their um red sauce because it was really 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 acidic they may be using something different i'm not sure um but uh other than the sauce it was really good I would say for me, it wasn't my favorite. The cheeses in it were a little sharper. It might have been the Romano, Pecorino Romano. I don't know. I didn't like something about it. But I, on the other hand, I, there's this place we go to locally that has the best eggplant parm in the world. I don't know if anything will ever beat it. So then we followed our th those dishes with the chicken parmesan, which other than Phil's second mom's yeah. uh, chicken parm, which is the best chicken parm in the entire universe, yeah. uh, this was the other best parm yeah. that we've had. Best commercially prepared chicken parm I've ever had in my yes. life. Yes, and it was on a beautiful bed of risotto as yeah. well. But guys, the highlight of this meal yes. is the buffet. No one, we did not come here for the plated food. Honestly, I'm just, I, I know that this is going to sound stupid. I forgot that plated food was an option until we sat down and they handed us menus. And I was honestly worried. I was like, did we miss the buffet? what's the deal and he, <laughs> the, our waiter carl who was great came over and started talking about the buffet they, mm -hmm. they don't call it a buffet it's a buffet <laughs> um but uh yeah the whole reason we came was for the buffet it did not disappoint no um i would say unless you really 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 want to try something on the menu just skip the plated stuff maybe and just enjoy the buffet because there's so much stuff yeah i could have just had the buffet and been fine yeah but i would say maybe top five highlights of the buffet for me were number one the cinnamon rolls with the caramel sauce caramel butterscotch love just it go to denny's for that no they were so good i really loved and i love salmon so they had salmon lock roll up and they also had a salmon mousse both were just perfect some of the best salmon phil absolutely despised salmon so i got to enjoy it happily on my own um oh and the blue cheese they just had blue cheese out it was outstanding blue cheese the whole charcuterie section was antipasto anti was delis delicious um and then i also really enjoyed they had cold shrimp fresh shrimp with lemon juice squirted over top of the pile and some dill just lightly sprinkled over it and just it was just a nice little touch that they put on it yes. and added to the flavor there is no sauce on the shrimp mm -hmm. yeah it's just a little juice little uh, it was very good though I, it was a unique uh, preparation of cold shrimp that i haven't had before and i enjoyed it yes it was it was definitely a different um execution that i've seen yes and the desserts were good too, but I would say by the time we got to the desserts, we were so full. The desserts were me. I thought they were good. What was the, what was your favorite? Uh, my top five were the walnut and blue cheese bread, the um, stone crab claws, 
Mm -hmm. The um, Jonah or Stone? They call them Stone Crab there. They are technically Jonah Crab Claws, and Jonah Crabs are just cousins of the traditional Florida Stone Crab. Um, stone Crab is so <laughs> ridiculously expensive. I've never even seen it for sale on Disney property because they probably couldn't get the markup that they'd want for it. But uh, the Jonah Crab Claws were great in their place. Um, delicious, delicious, tender, sweet meat. Uh, great dipping sauce. So for me, my top five were the um, smoked provolone cheese that they had on the antipast bar. They had, um, again, the blue cheese and walnut loaf. They had the king crab legs. They had the uh, shrimp and the crab claws. But overall, the displays were wonderful and I would go alone to Palo Brunch for that. Yes, so four sections, dessert, breads, seafood and shellfish, and then the antipasto table. And yes. that's, that's how that's broken up. So now we are going to go maybe fill up some drink cups, go to maybe a couple of shops, and then head over to the movie theater to see Toy Story 4. And later on this evening, we are headed over to Palo for dinner. It's a totally Palo day. Mm -hmm.